Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are doing absolutely fine. So in this video, we are going to learn the new thing, how to use the conditional formatting in Excel. So as you know, uh, conditional formatting plays a very important role in the Excel. So if you're facing, like if you're planning to search use it, use data and you want to segregate the parts in different different colors and different different conditions. So uh, here the conditional formats plays a, plays a specific role which will provide you the unique and perfect solution for whatever you, question you are looking for. So let's see uh, how, how to use this and how, where to use this. So in this video, I am going to teach you step by step. So let's get started. So before we uh, go and use uh, how to use the formatting, conditional formatting in Excel with the example. So we should learn what is conditional formatting. So I'm going to explain you what is conditional formatting. So conditional formatting enables you to apply a special formatting to a shell in your spreadsheet that meet a certain category. As I said before starting of this video, so it will help you to find out the exact match with exact category. What are you looking for? Like uh, if you're looking for anything, like suppose uh, if you're able to find there is a huge data and you want to segregate the parts only looking for especially for the Tuesday date, how many has came on the Tuesday. So if you use the condition Tuesday and click on OK, so it will give you the, all the Tuesday data sheet in whatever the sheet you're looking for. Second one is like Excel has a sizable library of the present condition that you can apply fairly simply or you can create your own conditional formatting rules using Excel formula. So either you can use the Excel formula which they have already inbuilt in the Excel version or else you can use the condition custom con conditional parts like your own formula to use and find the the meat of the certain criteria of anything if you are looking for that so another thing which we are going to learn is like conditional formatting recipe what are that conditional formatting so you can see if then logic preset condition custom condition and applying multiple condition so you can apply multiple condition in the same sheet or you can in the same cell also. So let's get started with the example how to do it. So today topic is like highlight cell, cell rules, top button rules and clear rules. So as you can see, uh, I have uh, taken an example for numbers and 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. Then text Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday till Wednesday. It's like a RAM number. Then date, I have selected today date, tomorrow, day after tomorrow, so on. And then again numbers. So in this uh, video, we are going to learn these many things, how to use the conditional formatting and how to clear the rules. So first I'm going to talk about numbers. So you can see that I have taken some numbers, uh, 10 to 100. And uh, if I want to use the rule, uh, if I want, suppose if I want to search the rules of which the numbers which are higher than 50, so it should give me the uh, change of the color and it, it should highlight me that okay, these are the numbers which you are looking for above 50. So, how to do that? So, let's get started. So, you need to select this uh, full sales and then you can click on home button and after home button, you can see conditional formatting. So click on the conditional formatting and then you can find the first rule that is highlight sale rules and you can see uh, you will find the another options greater than lesser than between equal to so you need to click on greater than and then it will ask me what are you looking for so here you can click on if if you are looking for more than 60 or 50 you can just type 50 and in this uh, next column it will show you format width so either you can select light red, yellow fill, green fill, then red text, red border and you can also customize it. So I'm not going to all the way. So I will show you the, uh, let's I take this one, right light fill with the dark red text. So and apart from, once you hit this uh, option, it will show you the preview also how it will going to look like. So what I have selected, it's, it's going to look like this. And then you, you need to click on OK. So you can see me, uh, you can see that of whatever the number more than 50 it's showing in the red color suppose if i do a changes here and instead of 10 if i type 77 will it change let's see okay so it's changed 
and if I uh, types instead of 70 if I type uh, 25 will it uh, change to white color okay so you can see the uh, how the condition formatting is working here so if you looking for any specific match so you need to fill the color and fill the category and it will give you the exact match whatever you're looking for next one which we are going to talk about is text so text uh, which i have selected is monday tuesday wednesday thursday friday saturday sunday monday tuesday again wednesday so if i want to highlight only tuesday so how i'm going to use this format so you, same same rule you need to apply go to mon click on monday and select all the cell till wednesday and go to conditional formatting highlight cell rules and you can see here text that context you need to hit this option and once you hit this option same thing you, you are going to do that so you need to highlight the tuesday one so you need to type t u s t u and the same color i am going to use or if you want i can change to yellow and so what i selected it's going to preview like this and you need to hit on ok so you can see it's showing me whatever the tuesday uh, is there in the sheet it's giving me the highlighted one if i change to this sunday to tuesday will it give me the perfect match yes it's giving the perfect so you understood how this numbers and text is going to play here so it's a very use easy what you need to just apply the condition format and it will give you the exact match the next one we are going to learn about the format how to apply the rules there so what you need to do you need to if i want to highlight the numbers like suppose key uh what is the coming next week date so i want to show all the next week date with the highlighted one so how can i do that so simple is that you need to select the sale wholesale you can select it you need to go to conditional formatting and then it's the same one highlight sale rules and you can see uh, the down one edit or click so you need to hit this option so it's giving me the option so which date you want to open so here i can have the option like next week so i need to select the next week and you can if you want you can change the shape and the size of that, everything by using the customized format and i'm not going to uh, change that i'm using the same format but i will change the preview option i'm going to select this uh, green fill with the dark green text and screen this way it's going to look like after that i need to click on off okay. so you can see it's uh, showing me the next week because today is the monday so we obviously it will show the next week so next week uh, the dates are five six seven eight whatever the dates are in the cell you can see here it's giving the option another one before we move to the numbers one how to change that so i want to show you that if you are selected the format and if you want to clear the format in one shot how to do that so you need to go here click on the conditional formatting and you can see the down one you will find clear rules here the tricks are so it will give you the two options clear rules from the selected cells means whatever the you have selected if you have if, like if you have applied the rules so it will select automatically or clear rules from the entire sheet so suppose if you are having the entire sheet you have applied the rules so if you want to clear the rules in the entire sheet you can select that option and if you select let's suppose i want to clear this rule for this select a cell so i can use that first one so i'm going to use the second one i'll remove this i'm going to use the clear rules and entire sheet so you can see whatever that i have applied the rules everything has gone like rules so there is no rules applied and everything back to the normal one. so by this way you can use the clear format rules so like I told you uh, we are going to cover about clear rules so this way you can use the clear rules option we are going to learn about how to use the duplicate value so suppose if I use this uh, text as a duplicate values and I want to know like how many are like words and text are there in this uh, duplicate value so how can I do it so you need to what you need to do you just need to select the entire cell and go to conditional formatting and highlight cell number and down you can see duplicate values so you need to select this option and you can see it will ask you like of uh, like duplicate you want to use so yes and uh, i want to use the duplicate option and you need to click on okay so you can see monday tuesday wednesday it's 
select duplicate again you can see tuesday monday when tuesday wednesday so in this uh, down cell you can find two duplicate values another one you can see a uh, monday and wednesday are the, like duplicate values so these monday tuesday wednesday all are threes are like duplicate values here is another one more trick is there i will go again to conditional formatting the duplicate values and you can see it's giving you the again the mode downstairs you can see the drop down so you can see the unique option if you want to see how many like text are unique so you can just use this option click on unique and press ok so you can see right size not taken I, what i need to do i need to again select this and click on ok let's see if we can remove the, this one format and then we can use this option because sometimes if you use it will not check it will take the previous one so you are going to select the unit and then click on ok so you can see thursday friday saturday these are like unique value suppose if i change anything will it uh, give me the unique value as a in red color let's do it if i want to change use it to let's see vishal so it's giving me the unique value so by this option you can use the unique and duplicate values and if you want to remove the this formatting you just need to clear rules and clear the rules from it as so by this way you can remove whatever the rules you have applied and it will come back to the same norm to learn about how to use the top button rules so this we have completed highlight cell numbers clear rules and the final one which we are going to learn about top button rules so how to use this option so let's do it so you can see i have selected this uh, sale with the number 10 20 30 40 50 60 70 80 90 100 so what i'm going to do i'm going to use the top button rules so how to do that so you need to first select this option go to conditional formatting and second one you can see top button rules so you can see uh, you will find the so many options top 10 top top 10 percentage button 10 button 10 percent above average below average so if you why if i want to use that uh, find out the who all are like top 10 so what you can do you can just select this rule as top 10 and here you can find the option it will give you the option top and then you can select top, all top 10 or you can see all eight you can see here and select this uh, format like if you want to change the color or if if you want uh, you can change it and click on ok then you can see i have selected top 8 so it's giving me like 30 40 50, 60 70 80 90 100 so in this way you can figure out who all are like top 10 in the numbers again i i will remove this off clear formatting because we are going to learn the again the new thing so same format clear in task again i need to select this option and now we are going to find out the another one that is like above average i need to find out who all are these numbers are like above average so before that i will show you if you select this option and it's giving me the averages like 55 you can see here 55 and go to here condition formatting top button rules and click on above average so again it's give me the this option what you want to search above average yes and then if you want to change the color you can this time i will select this right third fill and it, the preview will be like this and i need to click on ok so you can see because i have showed you the above average was like 55 and this 60 is like more than 55 so 60 70 80 90 100 so this way it will show you the above average now if you want to check who all are like below average so how to do that first we need to clear the formatting entire cell then again i need to select the cell and then condition formatting top button rules and below average so you remember i have told you the above average is 55 so below average if i select the same thing click on ok and you can see it will show give you the op, like output like below 55 so 50 40 30 20 10 so in this way you can use the below average 
above average then uh, you can see button so uh, like uh, top 10 top 10 percentage like that you can use this by using the conditional formatting I hope you have enjoyed this video and learned the new things about the conditional formatting, how to use that and where to use that and how to find the duplicates, how to find the unique values, how to clear the format, how to use the above average, below average, so many things we have learned in this video. So I will see you in my next video. Till then, take care. Bye-bye.